Hi friends, welcome back to Hobby Plus. Today I will discuss how to calculate the Snava circuit. That is your Snava circuit. You have to put this circuit in this power transfer circuit. Why it is necessary? I told everything in my last video. Snava circuit analysis. Now look at this. Here is a transformer. Here is a silicon switch and here is your snubber circuit. You know that when a supply through a coil and switching device are there, so it is not DC, then it is AC. Why? Because switching started here. You put this supply voltage through this coil to MOSFET brain and also put this pulse into the gate. So when you run this circuit, it, it make a noise we call ringing which is come out from output of this transformer and you can get it the output of this transformer point. So it is not need or disturb our output section and physical appliances which is connected with this power supply. So we need to dampening this pulse. Now I try to show you which type of pulse you can get here. This is your pulse type. This is your pulse type. That is your main pulse and that is your ringing part. You know that. I try to show bigger this ringing part. Look at this. That is your ringing part. So many peak are there. You get it to this circuit. You know that. You get this from here. So, if you want to dampening this pulse or ringing, you have to put this snubber and some other reason to use this snapper I already told you in my last video. Now look this. Each and everything appear on the output because it is in switching condition. Very easy and without doubt we can tell that. Everything is happening everything which type of ringing here this is the main culprit who make this ringing here but there is a so many circumstances so many points so many calculation it is more difficult to calculate from this circuit or this circuit now i am going to another way to calculate this snubber circuit this never circuit that is my way see this that is your output pulse that is your output pulse that is your ringing which is appear on this pulse top level and button level also you already look this see again that top level there is a top level and that is a button level so if you calculate this pulse then you get your value which type of resistance and which type of diode you can use for snapper it is very easy and simple look at this 
that is your pulse that is your ringing suppose your ringing told you something two type of data you can get from this ringing one is maximum peak what is the peak voltage what is the maximum peak voltage you can get here and another is what is the duration of this peak look at this i try to show you here is a top all all difference are same you can get your frequency from here you know that what is the formula you know that what is your formula i will show you just hold on if your time if your time is say 00 00 Zero five, that is your time. That is the difference between one peak to another peak. That is your different times. You can calculate this time from your oscilloscope output. So one by s is equal to f. All we know that. So you get a frequency here. That is two hundred kilohertz. So when you put a diode, when you put a diode in here. in here then you can decide which type of frequency you should use here that means you have to use here more than 200 kilohertz switching diode that is your first point you get the value from here so when you get this value suppose ba159 that is for suitable to use here so ba 159 maximum ampere is 0.5 suppose then i have to control this ampere i cannot through extra ampere through this diode suppose i want to drive this type of diode uh, ampere here now if i through this path high ampere I, i if i use more ampere through this path i can do but your resistance voltage is going to high that is costly so if i control this ampere through this path that is more efficient circuit design that is economy so if you do this you get a resistance value look this suppose 300 volt your peak to peak voltage peak to peak means half of the peak to peak not peak to peak that is your half of the peak to peak i can cannot calculate the total peak i just calculate single peak from here to higher that is your this level that is your top level that is your top level okay so you calculate the peak voltage from top level of the frequency and peak voltage suppose it is 300 and you want to drive 0.002 amps that means 2 milliamps so you can get from this formula i know, we know that v divided by i is equal to r we know that so i get the r value fine when i drive this ampere and that is your resistance value then you get wattage i square r is equal to w so 0.002 into 0.002 Is equal to triple zero triple zero four. That is your ampere, and that is your resistance value. So you get here 
what is equal to 0.6 for like as this diode i already told you that is a 0.5 ampere diode so but you um, through this diode you drive the 0.002 amps you get here 6 word 0.6 word uh, resistance value but you go to 1 watt resistance it is more economy and here is a capacitor here is a capacitor you have to calculate the capacitor value and at first you tell me why it is used here what is the purpose that is a question from me to you if you don't know that please tell me no i don't know that or if you know something please that also tell me in my comment box hope this video is helpful if it is please tell me in my comment box if you think no there is some problem you also tell me that thank you